Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Cleaning and inspection of fiber connections is an essential part of any fiber professional's toolkit. Popular cabling standards recommend that fiber connectors and ports should be cleaned and inspected every time a connection is made. This is done to ensure link attenuation and reflectance is kept to a minimum. There are two key issues related to light transmission. The first is attenuation. Debris that is allowed to build up in optical ports and connectors blocks and or deflects light from traveling through the connection, resulting in unwanted link loss. Today's link budgets are tighter than ever and cannot afford to have additional loss caused by obstructions. The second issue is related to reflectance. Built up debris causes a slight air gap between connectors causing a greater amount of light to be reflected back towards the transmitter. This is of special importance to high-powered systems such as telco, broadband, and CATV networks where reflected light could disrupt transmission or, in extreme cases, cause damage to transmitters. Not only are clean connectors and ports critical for successful fiber optic testing and data transmission, clean connections also help to keep equipment and fiber ports in proper working order. Dust, dirt, and debris may transfer from connector to optical port and build up over time. Repeated connector insertions into a dirty port could grind the debris into other connector end faces inside optical ports, causing irreparable damage resulting in costly repairs. OWL video probe scopes provide 400 times magnification, are multi-mode, single-mode ready, have coaxial illumination, and include probe tips for 2.5 millimeter universal, SC, FC, and LC. Due to variation between different manufacturers' adapter construction, ST probe tips are not supported. Never look into a fiber connector or port without first verifying that the fiber being inspected is completely disconnected from any optical source. Do not turn the focus wheel too far in either direction. Doing so could damage the internal gearing inside the unit causing the unit to be unable to focus. Five to ten turns in either direction should be sufficient for focusing on the connector end face. Scopes damaged from overturning the focus wheel are not covered under warranty. Each scope is tested for proper focus before being shipped. This handheld fiber microscope has an LCD display that allows users to easily inspect inside optical ports in the field. To power on the microscope, press the power button located at the top of the unit. Next, set the scope to viewing mode by pressing the Enter key. Now you can insert the probe into the optical port to inspect. As you can see, you can see a little bit of the, of the uh, connector end face here, except it's a little blurry, so we can use the focus wheel to focus in. Once we, once we focus in, we can see that there's a little bit of dust and dirt on there. It's not too bad, but this would be an acceptable connector. However, if the connector was really dirty, you would need to clean and reinspect until the fiber connector is free from debris. Visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com for more information about cleaning and inspection products. This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.